Hello everyone, and welcome to another Wild Edibles episode, where today we're going to be talking about a wild edible that I wouldn't really recommend going out to forage, but in a survival situation, when you need food, this might be a source of it, and that is the bullfrog. Now, don't worry, no frogs are going to be harmed in the making of this video. As it is, they're being awfully generous allowing me to film them this closely. The purpose of this video is just to convey the information that these frogs can and have saved people's lives in survival situations. So first, a little explanation on why this is a wild edible. First of all, I define a wild edible as anything that can be eaten out in the woods or any other natural environment that you don't need any specialized tools to make use of. For instance, deer aren't a wild edible because you need a bow and arrow or a spear at the very least. Whereas these are a wild edible because you could feasibly catch these with your hands and dispatch them with a knife. If you don't have a knife in a survival situation, you have bigger problems. Second, while the modern world provides a lot of opportunity for people to pursue a plant-based lifestyle, out in the wilderness it can be really difficult to meet your nutritional needs without protein from animals. Because these frogs rely so heavily on camouflage, they're ideal as a source of protein because oftentimes they will allow you to get quite close without moving because that's their survival strategy. If you spot them and you're fast enough, you might be able to capture them. Now, unfortunately, you really can't make use of the whole animal. Really, the only edible part are the legs. And this is a good example of a bullfrog because this is about the minimum size I would even consider using for food. Now, in a survival situation, you take what you can get, and maybe you would go for something smaller than this, but this is right about where I'd say, you know, you'll still get meat off of this one, but any smaller, and it's really not going to give you what you need. As it is, you're probably going to need more than one either way. All you have to do to make this edible is take off the legs, take off the skin on them, and cook them somehow. You could boil them, you could try to roast them, all you have to do is sort of cook them through, and then they're ready to eat. Anyway, it's starting to rain, and this frog has been very kind to allow me to film it very closely, and I think that's as much information as I'm going to get to today. So I hope you guys all enjoyed and learned something that might help you if you ever find yourself in a survival situation. Thanks for watching.